You could definitely call it the catch of the day. Scientists in central Manitoba have unearthed a fossil believed to be more than 80 million years old. CTV's Jillian Taylor traveled to Morden today to check out the prehistoric discovery. Right here we have one of the fish's jaw elements. If you look close enough, you can see a tooth from Xyphactinus, a giant fish that lived over 80 million years ago. This dig site just outside of Morden used to be the Western Interior Seaway, the home of these giant sea monsters. They truly were like the Tyrannosaurus Rex in the sea, just massive teeth, massive jaws, and sheer vast numbers of them. Joseph Hatcher says this skeleton could be up to 18 meters long. What makes this dig even more exciting is what was found beside the Cyphactinus. One of the fish jaws was leaned right up against one of the Mosasaur flippers, which initially indicated, yeah, maybe he's biting the flipper of the Mosasaur. The further the team got on the dig, they realized the Cyphactinus was the more dominant of the two monsters, something they didn't know before. This discovery was made at the end of last summer by one of the student diggers who was walking along this creek. This could be the first full Xyphactinus skeleton for the museum. Hatcher says it may take years to uncover the full skeleton. Eventually it will be on display in the Canadian Fossil Discovery Centre in Morden. Museum General Manager Tyler Schroeder says this is a very important discovery. From the increase in, our, in the profile of the museum and the scientific community to the tourism traffic that we're about to see coming through our doors starting tomorrow. More than three metres of dirt have been removed from the site so far. It's slow, painstaking work, but worth it to those putting in the effort. It's a lot of hard work, but it's fun. You feel really accomplished, or really happy and excited whenever you find something that no one's seen for, you know, 80 million years. And paleontologists believe they will be discovering many more fossils here over the next few years, an area they say is producing more fossils this year than any other. Jillian Taylor, CTV News, Morden.